let's take a look at another example of a trustless sun hacking. In this case, given this IP address 172.16.21.3 slash 28. So let's work out the same usual stuff. The thumbnail mask, the network address, the first host address, the last host address, and the broadcast address. So let's begin with the usual or looking for the thumbnail mask. In this case, we are given this address of slash 28. So the CIDR is slash 28. So using slash 28, we can work out the thumbnail mask. Okay. So the slash 28 means we actually have the slash 24 bits with another additional 4 bits. So we are going to borrow the usual 24 bits from the network portion and one of the 4 bits from the host portion. Okay. So in this case, our usual 4 of that we have 8 bits, 8 bits, 8 bits and the last part also 8 bits. But because we are using slash 28, so what happens is we are going to borrow an extra 4 bits from the host portion. Okay. So now in total what we are going to have is like we are going to have a slash 28, 24 plus 4 is equals to our 28 bits. Okay. So that is my network portion for the this subnetting and we are going to have only 4 bits remaining for the host portion ok so now let's try to determine the network host portion over here so in this case we have the last object over here that we have to work out for, for 255 will correspond to this 8 bit octet over here dot 255 for this octet the 255 for the third octet and for the last octet we want to work out what is the decimal number to represent this portion over here so if we actually expand this portion out okay we are going to expand this portion out so we are going to get something like this in binary format 1 1 1 1 0 0 0 0 okay for this portion because the first four bits belongs to the network portion and the last four bits belongs to the host portion so for the host portion i will be represented by this zero okay so let's try to represent this in the decimal format so how do i know what is the decimal format in this case what is the decimal format so in order to find the decimal format i will actually multiply this by a certain number so let's say in this case i have this finally over here Okay, I represent the first bit on the left hand side by 128. The second bit represent by 64. The third bit represent by 32. The fourth bit represent by 16. Okay, so how to find the decimal number? Just simply add all the numbers up. So in this case, I will have 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus 16 so my final answer is equals to 240 okay so that means my subnet mask in this case subnet mask will be equals to 255.255 0.255.240 After finding the subnet mask for the network, we can proceed on to the next part of the question to look for the network address of this 
IP network. So what we need to do is we need to find the network address. So in this case, our network is from 172.16.21.3. So now we are going to find our network address. So in this case, our network address is 172.16.21.3. Zero. Okay. Why? Because for network address, we always start from zero. So now let's take a look at the next portion where we find the first host address. So in this case, our first host address is the next address one seven two point sixteen point twenty one point one. Okay. And we're going to find the last host address last host address is we need to use the formula where 2 is the total IP address in this case we are going to find the total number of hosts total number of hosts is to the power of n minus 2 where n is actually the number of hosts bits okay so in this case we take a look at the question over here so the number of host bits over here is 4 so what we're going to do is we're going to put this question as to the power of 4 minus 2 so 16 minus 2 is 14 so there are total 14 hosts so in this case our last host address will be 172.16.21.14 ok so we can proceed to find the last part which is our number of broadcast address so in this case the last part will be the broadcast address is equals to 172.16.21.15 okay is that all no that is only the network address for the first sub network so in this case if you notice we only stop at 15 so that is not the end we can actually continue to find the next sub network okay so repeating this from the step b onwards okay the network address for the next sub network Okay, the node address for the second subnetwork. Okay, second network. In this case, the node address for the second network will begin from the next IP address 16.21.16, and we can also continue to find the first host address. So in this case, the first host address will be 172.16.21.17. Okay, so let's continue to find the part D, the last host address. So for the last host address, what we're going to do is we have 172.16.21. How many? So remembering just now what we find is we have total number of hosts is 14. So in this case, what we're going to find is the last host address will be 16 plus 14 will be 30. And finally the broadcast address is simply 172.16.21.31. Point point so this is the addresses for the last network.